Hi guys, here is Seoul, South Korea. I'm Jonghee from Hello K Cooking Class. Hey guys, do you like local market? I love local market. Actually, near my place, there is a really great local market I've been to just before doing this. I'm super troublemaker, you know? I just found this amazing fresh green onion. That it was only 1,501 for like big bunch of spring onion. One, one, one and a half dollar, I mean US. Oh my god, how do I just miss it, right? I bought it. So today we're making special Korean traditional food with Hey, look at it. Oh my god, a lot. You know what? Even over there, I have a double. I have more. Oh, yeah. So we need to make kimchi with this spring onion. A lot of people ask me to, how do I make kimchi with easy recipe? Follow this one. With spring onion, with this recipe, super easy, super simple. So I have a lot of things. Let's talk about it. Onion, ginger, garlic and apple and you know just fresh water and rice just rice and chili powder um, i've just mixed two different flavor of chili powder one with not spicy and one is really spicy so i just mixed all together and this is salt so i prepared a really big and coarse one so to make kimchi i really recommend to get this big salt and plum juice instead of the sugar you can just use the sugar and actually this one is homemade one and this one is sesame seed the roasted one and this one is fish sauce hey guys and you need to prepare this blender we're gonna you know like grind it everything so oh i need to add rice like classic way of making kimchi you need to make a flour like sticky flour paris we call it you know, eating glue. You need to get like the flour, put the water, mix it all together, and then boil it. Let's just add rice. Uh oh. Mm. And one onion. Oh. Oh. And we need to add apple for the natural sweet flavor. Let's put it off. And we need to the small pieces. You can just add pear. I mean, Asian, the big, sweet, and juicy Asian pear instead of the apple. And then one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten garlic cloves, and one spoon of ginger, around ten gram, and just a uh, like ninety milliliter of the water. If we need more, I will add more. So, oof, let's. Get rid of this sound. Was my beard. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, super heavy. Mm. Add to the empty beef. I forgot to get a spatula. Everything? Oh my god. Looks like apple juice, but it smells like garlic and ginger. Good. Then, bye bye. Let's add all of chili powder. With this one tablespoon, I add around 9 to 10. A lot. Yeah. And this is plum juice. Actually, it's perfect season for making plum juice for the, you know, whole year. With special plum, with sugar, and then put everything in a big jar and then leave it more than 100 days and then we can get the amazing plum juice. So I'm adding plum juice. One, two, three, four, five. I love it. If you don't have plum juice, this one is homemade one. You can get plum juice in any market. Maybe in Asian market. And two big spoons of sesame seed. One, two, and fish sauce. I'm adding maybe four first. One, two, three, four. And then we will check it. Then, oh, actually, I really love mixing. Mm. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, ooh. Do you know why we add rice or eating glue? This is kimchi, right? Kimchi is fermented with things. So maybe two or three days later, you can get fermented, like a little bit sour and you know, flavorful kimchi. To get really great fermented kimchi, we need to add rice. It helps to do it. I want to try. Mmm, spicy and salty and really great. But we need more, just a little bit of rock salt. 
We just like skip the soaking process. Every winter season, we're making kimchi actually more than 100 pieces for a year. Can you believe it? For a year, more than 100 pieces. But you know, salting process is quite, you know, hard. But you know, this recipe, you don't worry about it. We just like can skip it. <laughs> oh my god, it's really great. So now, oh my god, super tasty. And we need to mix all the vegetables, I mean, all the green onion. Where to make love? Hey guys, it's mixing time. So let's grab green onion gently. So why hey, take it a sauce bowl, you know, the head first. And you don't need to mix real well, just like roughly, roughly, like this, like this, like this. Then, you know, put on to the feet and more. Head first. Mix all together. As I told you, you know, in Korea, we have kimchi making season. It's actually winter put together. All relatives, I mean, all family get her together and then make kimchi together. It takes around like half days. Then after finishing make kimchi, we, you know, get special pork, I mean, lunch or dinner. And then we eat together with the fresh kimchi. Do you know how to different fresh kimchi and, you know, fermented kimchi? Fresh kimchi, it's just like this. You can feel any sour flavor, but you know, times later, like one or two days later, the flavor is changed, right? Because it's fermented kimchi. It's getting fermented, fermenting, so you can get sour flavor kimchi. That's fermented kimchi flavor. So here you guys, look at it. Oh my god, it's great. It looks so good. Okay, you don't need to mix. Ooh. Oh my god, spicy. <laughs> yeah, all together. Have you seen the, the movie, The Parasite? If you just track the movie, the Korean, it's bitter instant noodle, right? We call it death baguette. Like there are two different kind of instant noodle and they cook together. It's like quite popular. When we eat that one, this spring onion kimchi is quite great. Oh, that's insane. So there's a little bit left. So maybe after this video, I'm gonna make a little bit more with the extra spring onion. So now I'm letting you know how to put into the container. So with a little pressure, like you need to tie up. Then the container why you you know make a little you know ribbon thing because it's quite still hard to control this spring onion right after one or two days it's getting smoother and smoother and this portion is quite perfect for the one meal so i really like fresh flavored kimchi so i'm gonna eat straight away but if you love sour fermented kimchi you can just like put into the room temperature for one day and then tomorrow you can just put into the refrigerator okay Ooh. Oh, ginger smell and garlic smell. I want it really, really hot and you know, fresh new rice. Look at it. Okay, then let's add a little bit of sauce. Let's clean it. There is a freezer, my baby. Hey, you cannot eat this one because it is too spicy. <laughs> so it's eating time. Ooh, this spring in here like this. Sorry guys, I'm using my hands. Mm -hmm. I need one more. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's all mixed up in my mouth. Super tasty. Do you want to eat? No, later. You can just eat rice. Here, Kaki. Mm. Just rice. You can eat it. Mm. So, hey guys, this is really, really, really great kimchi. See you next time.